Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Academic Bay. I'm Dr. Muhammad Zubair. Today I'm going to tell you what is a hypothesis and what are the characteristics of a good hypothesis. What are the functions a hypothesis performs and what are the different types of hypothesis. So let's start our today's topic and if you have not subscribed this channel so far, please subscribe. So the first thing, what is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is an assumption about the association between two variables. It is an assumption which is based on some evidence. So you can say it is an educated guess about the possible association between two or more variables. A hypothesis is the starting point of an investigation that translates the research questions into predictable statements. It includes different components like variables, measurement of variables, association between variables and the population from where the data is supposed to be collected. A research hypothesis is a hypothesis that is used to test the relationship between two or more variables. Now, what are the functions that a hypothesis performs? A hypothesis is the starting point of any research. Once you make some observations or conduct some literature review, you come across different variables. Now the time is to set the direction for your research. So the first major function of a hypothesis is that it helps in directing the inquiries in the right direction. Similarly, it is the starting point of any investigation. A hypothesis helps in verifying the observations. Now, what are the characteristics of a good hypothesis? A good hypothesis is in the shape of a very clear, precise and concise statement. A hypothesis must be very specific. It should be specific enough to enable the researcher to test the association between the mentioned variables. However, it must have a scope for conducting more tests. If the hypothesis is a relational hypothesis, then it should be stating the association between variables. A good hypothesis must be testable and verifiable. Now, what are the different types of hypotheses? Number one, simple hypothesis. A simple hypothesis shows the association between one independent and one dependent variable. For example, if you eat more meat, you will gain weight faster. Here, meat is an independent variable while weight is the dependent variable. Number two, complex hypothesis. A complex hypothesis shows associations between two or more independent variable or dependent variable. For example, eating more meat and fruits will lead to gaining weight and a glowing skin. In this case, there are two independent variables and two dependent variables. Number three, null hypothesis. A null hypothesis shows that there is no association between independent and dependent variable. It is shown by H0. For example, there is no relationship between poverty and crime. This statement is a null hypothesis. Alternate hypothesis. Contrary to null hypothesis, an alternate hypothesis shows that there is some association between independent and dependent variable. For example, if we say there is an association between poverty and crime, this is the example of a alternate hypothesis. However, the alternate hypothesis does not show the direction of association. Therefore, according to the requirement of research, you may use a directional hypothesis. A directional hypothesis 
not just shows that there is an association between two variables, but it also shows the direction of hypothesis. For example, poverty leads to crime. Poverty increases crime. In this case, poverty is an independent variable while crime is a dependent variable and the statement or the hypothesis shows that increase in, in poverty will result in increase in crime. So we can say directional hypothesis also shows cause and effect relationships. A non-directional hypothesis is used when there is no theory involved in research. It is a statement that a relationship exists between two variables without predicting the exact nature or direction of the relationship. Thanks for watching.